I now have my hands on probably the most anticipated San Martin watch ever. The all new SN0144. They have been teasing us about this watch for months now and it has been on sale. You've been able to pre-order it. Some people have already received their watch. I now finally have one in to review and show you why this has been one of the most anticipated AliExpress watches ever. One of the main reasons being the movement inside this watch. They have used the Miyota 9015. I think this is the first time they've ever used a 9000 series Miyota movement. People have been crying out for Sam Martin to start using this movement for some time. It's going to elevate their watches to a different level. Of course, that means... It's also going to elevate the price a little bit because this movement is going to cost more than your NH35 or Miyota 8000 series movement. But I think their watches can carry it. I really, really do. Their build quality has been sensational for years and there is no reason why their watches can't house movements like this. Now, there is some good news when it comes to the price. I've just checked out with this watch on AliExpress through the official store, and I've been offered this watch for 339 US dollars. But the official store have just given me a $40 discount code for you guys. Ari SN0144, that will drop the price to sub 300 US dollars. I'll put some conversions on the screen. This isn't the AliExpress conversions. This is just a sort of current exchange rate conversions. Prices do fluctuate all the time on AliExpress. I'm quoting the current prices and yeah, fingers crossed it will also be discounted in the upcoming 11th of the 11th sale. Something else that we've all been crying out for San Martin to do for quite some time now is produce more original looking watches. And they have started to do that in the last 12 months or so. There's been a number of new releases by San Martin that have been far more original than their homage watches. And they're getting better and better, aren't they? And yeah, when they first released pictures of this watch on Instagram, people went crazy for it. And I can see why it is gorgeous. A beautiful Garda watch with incredible specifications, a gorgeous style, a few new interesting details about this watch as well. They're definitely, definitely pushing the boundaries of what we should start to expect from AliExpress watches. I think they're going to make it very, very difficult for other brands to keep up with this watch. So the dial, it is a gorgeous dial, a textured dial. They've called it a low temperature enamel dial. It's a three stage process. The first stage is creating the texture. The second stage is adding the color. And the third stage is a sort of clear coating that goes on top, which gives you a little bit of extra light play. And this is designed to resemble sort of porcelain tea sets, which of course they're famous for in China and the stamp underneath has been done in a style that's very similar to the stamps that you would get on tea sets used by a royal family a thousand years ago. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It says made by San Martin. Now the bracelet, that's been a little bit of a talking point actually. I went over to the Oakingham Bell in Wokingham a little while ago. The manager there, Z, he's a huge watch enthusiast. He bought this watch from AliExpress and he's had it for a week or so. In fact, he had it when I popped over there about a week ago and he said oh, it's incredible but the bracelet not a lot of articulation or reverse articulation on this bracelet so when he puts the watch down it doesn't sort of sit flat now he fed this back to San Martin I think a few people have gone back to San Martin and said the bracelet it doesn't seem very normal it doesn't behave in a sort of normal way and they've come out and released a video on Instagram explaining that this was actually quite intentional they wanted to produce a premium bracelet where the gaps in between the links were kept to an absolute minimum and to achieve that they had to sacrifice that sort of reverse articulation so when the watch is on your wrist the links look super close together of course when it's on your wrist that reverse articulation doesn't really matter 
there's certainly no denying this bracelet and the case is impeccably well finished. They are always trying to improve their finishing, hand finished cases and bracelets. And yeah, the finishing, the transitions between the polishing and the brushing, just sensational. It's a gorgeous looking watch. But again, it has just been finished to an unbelievable standard. And the clasp is a little bit different to the clasp that they've been using a lot recently. The outer shell, there's a little bit more detail. There's a sort of step and then there's, well, there's still those polished chamfered edges flanking the outer shell of the clasp. The on-the-fly adjustment system is a little bit different to the one that we've seen a lot from them recently. It's a fairly simple mechanism. You sort of pull it down and slide it in and out and then lift it back up. It works very, very nice. Obviously, that sort of click motion is really, really nice. It feels super tight. It feels like it's been engineered um, to a good standard. It doesn't feel loose and cheap. And then you follow the bracelet back up to the case. There is some taper on this bracelet. Um, about the right amount, I think. I think it looks good. You've got male end links. That is something else that Z wasn't overly enthusiastic about. Um, for those of us with slightly smaller than average wrists, it might just extend the length of the watch a little bit more than we'd like when it's on our wrist. Um, I don't know whether or not they'll come out with a sort of female end link version, but at the moment, this is what they're offering. And there is some downturn on the end link, so I'm not having any issues getting it to look right or sit right on my wrist. It feels very, very comfortable. And of course, with that on the fly adjustment system, you get a perfect fit and yeah, you can adjust it as and when you like. And I have to say it again, the finishing on this watch <laughs> It's, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's unbelievable. I mean, the brushing is just so nice. It's like a fine satin brushing. The polishing seems really, really bright. That bezel is just outrageous. The dial as well, gorgeous. Really, really nice dial. Very unusual. We've seen these applied indices in these hands before. So nothing new there. But yeah, paired with this new release, I think it looks really, really good. Of course, you've got the date complication. Beautifully framed at the six o'clock. So decent balance on the dial and yeah, a color coded date wheel as well. You've still got that applied logo underneath the 12 o'clock marker, which I know a lot of people aren't wild about. But yeah, I mean, they've been using this for a while now and I think most people are used to it, aren't they? 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down case back. The case back's a little bit different as well. Not only has it got that stamp on it, but there's some specifications there as well. They've been producing quite sort of plain and simple case backs for a little while now haven't they? So yeah, nice to see them doing something different there. And of course, with them using the Miyota 9000 series movements, this watch, yeah, it's quite slim. It feels more petite and slim than any other automatic watch they've produced before. I don't recall them producing a watch that feels this flat. This is a particularly slim movement and it allows you to produce watches like this and that's why so many micro brands are using it these days of course 28,800 beats per hour hacks hand winds cracking movement cracking watch yeah it hasn't disappointed at all i think there is room for some changes for potentially a version two i think female end links is something that a number of people are going to want I don't think they'll necessarily change the way the bracelet's done in terms of its articulation. I think they've put a lot of time and effort into producing a bracelet that has super tight links with almost no gaps. So I think that's here to stay on this particular model. But yeah, other than the end links, I don't think there's really anything else they should be looking to change for a version two. Oh man, it's good. It is good. Three colours available. I like this blue one. I really, really do. In fact, they're all nice. Yep, it's been well worth the wait. And um, if you've picked one up, let me know what you think, guys. I'd love to know. I'd love to read the comments. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Yeah, affiliate links in the video description. And yeah, there is a sale coming up soon. Don't forget.